Hi guys, looking over the fence, installing different distros, keeps you on your toes and you learn a lot of it from it, right? By comparing, comparison, melt I have in my mind. So an application to compare. And one of the things I've done this morning is update this thing, which means, yes, we are experimenting with the Arclinx Nemesis scripts. We've already installed lots of things and switched as well from kernel. And all that is available on the Arclinx Nemesis scripts. So the name is just a name, but it's basically taking control over so many, many, many uh, desktops out there. This is not really nice to read it like this. So go to the internet, but read the readme and it'll show you there's a 20 ish uh, list of arch things and the idea at some point in time was let's go on a voyage and when we are somewhere else buns labs and when peppermint pop os i always want to have chat wm the two most elaborated in in scripts right are these two guys and it always pays off to do the right mouse click and then compare and melt and see what is different, what is not different, what's the same. So these small things are basically the differences between Ubuntu and Linux Mint, a name change, Chromium browser rather than Chromium, you see, but it's not installed at this point. So there are things in here that will differ from one to the other. And um, of course, Linux Mint will have Mint stick, right? <laughs> sure, <laughs> and so on. But that's the, the, the joy, for me anyway, um, that's scripting, making these scripts perfect. And although I'll be not full-time on Ubuntu, I really am enjoying to work with this and see that everything works, even the Super X, which is our Arch Linux logout that we use on or use I should say on our clicks right it works here so I can log out in here as well and go back to Ubuntu if I want to right choices and then um, do my thing everything is available it is online it's just a matter of launching your browser going to github.com slash Eric Dubois slash Arclex Nemesis, right? Then you're straight away to the URL. This is what you git clone. That's it. Put it somewhere like here on the desktop and then git clone. Of course, you need to install git and off you go. Have a look at the code. Ask ChatGPT, what does this do? What does that do? So all the things, these things are all for Arch, but when we go deeper, so let's open just one thing, but not with LibreOffice, thank you very much. You know with which one I will open it, right mouse click, open with, set default application. Let's change this forever and ever, right? All right, like this. And in the beginning it will know, it will go through a list here, if we're on Bunza Lab, we do that. If we're on FreeBSD, we do that. If we're on GhostBSD, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. So Mint is in here somewhere. Ubuntu is in here somewhere, and it starts the job. So yeah, um, if you're into this, then please be my guest. Use Arcanix Nemesis to learn about scripting. Make your own script. Make your own your own set, and take control of any Linux ISO distribution out there and have fun basically learn and have fun cheers